Today I'm going to show you how to set up a material test array in Xtools XCS software to allow you to optimize your laser engraving settings on any material. We're going to get started by selecting the material, so we're using cork in this case. The reason for this is because we need a baseline, we need to know where we're starting from with our power and speed settings. Now we'll select a shape for us to actually engrave. This can be literally anything. Then we want to select engrave and now do blue light reference to make sure we have the power and the speed settings for the Xtool recommended materials. Now we're going to make it smaller so that we can fit lots of them on the shape. We're going to select material test array from the options on the left as you can see. And once we do this we're going to get a material test array column box pop up. And this basically asks us to specify what we want for the power settings along the X axis which is the horizontal one and the speed settings along the Y axis, which is the vertical one. So we, we need to use our baseline material settings. So 85 power and 1,500 speed as our kind of middle area. So we can adjust the maximum and minimum of each one according to that. So in this case, I've done a maximum power of 100, a minimum of 50, I've done a maximum speed of 3,000, a minimum of 500. And then as you can see, you can actually adjust how many rows and columns you have, which increment the speed and the power more. And then I like to reduce the spacing down to as small as possible so we can fit as much as we can onto the material. That's our goal. One slight annoyance of the material grid array is that you can see it, it spaces everything so far apart in terms of the numbers and the text. I personally don't like this. As I just said, I like to actually have it as cramped as possible so I can get as much as possible onto the material. So ungroup everything and then all you need to do is set the text and the numbers to engrave and just start to manually move them closer so that you can get it nice and compact so you'll see i'm doing the power here then i'll move on to the speed and this is completely up to you by the way you can leave it as it is if you want and then what is a good practice to follow is to actually adjust the title to explain exactly what you've engraved and and that's perfect really so we're in a good position now we've, we've actually positioned it all as we want so now we just want to organize things a little bit better. So what I tend to do is I will try to group the text and the numbers together, as you can see here. So right click and select group. I also like to give them their own layer because if you ever want to go back in and just select those and change those on their own, it's much easier to do that if they've got their own layer. So we've also grouped all of the individual engravings back together. And that now puts us in a position where you can see on the right hand side, we've got all of our different settings, which means we are ready to frame. The aim for this is to make it as big as possible as we can on our engraving surface. So as you can see live on the left, I'm framing it using the arrows on the keyboard and it will move it on the actual surface of the object as we do it on the XCS software. So I've switched it to detailed outline for this framing so I really can optimize every little piece of space because that's very important. We want to we want to use as much as we can. So let's get that finished and move on to the next step. We'll be clicking process next and that is going to give us a timeline of exactly how long this engraving is going to take. As you can see in the bottom, this is 23 seconds, so very quick. So now let's kick start. As we are using the blue diode laser, we should close the cover to protect our eyes. Off we go. Time to get this engraving started. So you'll see it actually does it in a very random order. In this case, it started from the most powerful and it's working its way back. But you can already see the difference in incrementations between darkness and depth within the engravings, which is really, really cool to see happening right in front of your eyes. So as you can see, a very, very quick engraving. Let's lift up the cover and see the results. So as you can see, there is a very clear difference between slow and powerful and fast and weak. Exactly what we need because we can now look at this and define exactly what our optimum settings are. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content.